What's up everybody? It's your girl Shella. And guess what? I love that bread that I made so much that I'm making it again. A little differently this time because we're gonna have spaghetti, veggie spaghetti. So it's veggie noodles uh, that's already pre-made in the store, of course. And uh, we're gonna have that rest of the chili, um, the chili sauce, hamburger meat stuff on it as well. And I'm just here today so I can go ahead and show y'all how to make this. So, like I said, I'm gonna make some more of that good old bread. This time I'm gonna change it up a little bit because since we're eating it with spaghetti, I'm using mozzarella cheese and all the ingredients will be um, in the front of this video. So here we go, you guys. All right, y'all should be able to see everything what I'm doing right here. What I'm gonna take with this whole wheat flour, and you can use almond flour, or you can use coconut flour. I would suggest those three flours to use. But I'm gonna use the, the actual um, whole wheat flour, you guys. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm only gonna put a cup of it in here now. I'm not, I'm not gonna use the whole cup. But this stuff is like so, I mean, it's like a staple now. So what I'm gonna do is later on, I'm gonna get me a container and I'm gonna make this stuff up with all my seasonings. And then I can just, you know, dilly dally as I go. So what we're gonna do to this is we're gonna add black pepper. I'm gonna open that up so I can pour it in there. So probably a tablespoon. And I should have used that last because it almost took my breath making me sneeze, but lemon pepper, you guys know I love lemon pepper. But I don't use any salt. I'm taking a cap sauce so I can pour it in there. Yeah. I'm gonna use a about a tablespoon of each one of these seasonings. She don't know what Then onion powder. My husband over there saying, I don't know what I'm doing. Guess what? This is new. So maybe I don't. But that's why it's called Shellos Creations Way. I need powder, y'all. And I'm trying something different. This time, do some Italian seasonings. Italian seasonings because we're going to do spaghetti. A little bit of that. Okay. And of course, you know, I got to use my paprika for color. I always got to put some paprika for color. It really doesn't have any flavor unless you get the smoke kind. And then I'm going to use my Kanye. 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 <laughs> Y'all see it. Pepper. Yeah, I'm going to be heavy on that too. Yeah, we like that. And then. After I mix this around, I'm just gonna mix it around real good, you guys. And I know y'all see me, because I see y'all see me. Gonna mix that around. All right, that looks really good. All right, we'll sit this over there. Now we'll take out mozzarella cheese. Now yesterday I used mozzarella cheese and Fiesta cheese. Well, I used up all my Fiesta cheese and I didn't stop by the store when I got off from work today. So I decided I'll just use mozzarella. And, oh, let me show you what I'm using. See these little muffin pans? These little muffin pans. I always have a little extra muffin pan, so we're gonna use those. And I'm gonna put that mozzarella down here. Y'all see that? In the bottom. Just about a little handful, about this much, like you scoop like that, that much. See that? That much. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn my oven on to 350, so it's already heating up. I'm gonna do that now. I'll get my other little, little pans out. Let's see. Take just a couple of these little smaller pans. I'll do four, two for Frank and two for me. 
Sushi. <laughs> so, I'll just use this. Just for size purposes so I can see how they're gonna turn out. Like I say, this is Shell's creation, so I'm new to this. But I'm telling you, I love it. I love it and I'm loving it. So we're gonna see how these turn out. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I'm just gonna put them on a cookie sheet and lay them in the oven. After, of course, I put my seasoning flour on it. So I'm just gonna take this little spoon and probably like a teaspoon, just a teaspoon guys, and just sprinkle it on like so. Teaspoon, teaspoon you guys, sprinkle it on there. Like a teaspoon in each one. And what that flour does, it also helps to, it to form its little breading shape. And in addition to that, it absorbs that extra grease that you normally get when you when you melt cheese. So you'll have a little flour at the top maybe or around it or whatever, and you just dust it off. Because remember, it's seasoned and it's cooked and it's still good, but you don't even taste it, you can't even tell. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna, I hope y'all see me. We're gonna press it, down, press it down like this, press it down. Kind of get, make sure the flour gets all down in there real good. That flour mix. Yeah. Mm hmm And I see one of these I don't have as much, so I'll just add a little bit more to this one. There. So that's done. Then we'll look at the ones I have over here. And we'll just push these down too. Like so. All right, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna boil noodles. I'm only gonna boil one pack. Like I said, you know, it's just me and Frank. And it's a lot, I'm telling you guys, it's a lot you can do with leftover meals. Like right now we have this much leftover from the chili right here, and that's a lot. So I'm just gonna heat this up and put it on top of our spaghetti. See that? This is a lot. And the noodles that I'm gonna use, let me show y'all. Cause I'm pretty sure everybody know how to boil noodles. So I'm not gonna let y'all see me boil the noodles because I wanna add this on to our P-R-O-M-O-S-C-K eating good in neighborhood video. So it won't be as long and everything can be combined. So these noodles right here, you guys, veggie, veggie noodles. Really, 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 really good by Barella. Um, so this is what we're gonna use. This is a 12 ounce. I'm gonna keep them straight. Sometimes I break them in half, but this time I'll keep them straight. And I'm gonna boil those, and once I get done boiling these and get these babies right here out of the oven, you're gonna see us back on camera because we're gonna be taking pictures, having that photo moment. So you guys just remember y'all saw this on P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, Shella's Creations Way. And you guys are gonna see us eat it on P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, eating good in the neighborhood. And just remember, remember, remember this. You can do a lot with your leftovers. All right, see you in a few. All right, you guys, I haven't put it, I haven't put this back in the oven yet because the oven hasn't quite preheated up, but I forgot to show you guys this hot sauce. Doesn't matter what brand you use, but I'm gonna spice this up a little bit and I'm gonna put just a few little drops of hot sauce in here. See that? Just a few little drops. I'm only gonna do it in this right here. I'm not gonna do it in the other one. My husband be saying I be sp too, too much spicy stuff, but I'm just putting this right here. Y'all see that? Mmm, yeah. All right, so I put salt in the water so I can boil these noodles. So just FYI, if you guys are wondering, I'm not gonna put any oil in them. And I am gonna save some of the broth that comes off these noodles. I am gonna save some of that. So when I mix it up, uh, with the um, ground uh, meat that we had. So, just FYI, just want to come back at you. See you in three. All right, you guys, this is what I'm gonna add to my meat, the chunky ragu, sun-dried tomato, and sweet basil, and also the can of mushrooms, the pieces and stems. I'm gonna add that to that meat sauce. All right, you guys got everything in the saucepan. 
And over here, my noodles are starting to boil. And they are green, you guys. All right, you guys, this is the spaghetti sauce. And then the veggie spaghetti noodles. And as you can see, my pizza circle breads, and I must confess, one is missing because I ate it. It was so good. I ate one of the big ones. So anyway, guys, this is what we're gonna have. Instead of Italian bread or garlic bread, this is what we're gonna have. So next time you see this, it will be at the table and we'll be munching on it at P-R-O-M-O-S-T-K, eating good in the neighborhood.